So we're staying at the Godor Thermal Pools Motel and Caravan Park here in Moree. So we'll stay here for two days. So this is the entrance you come in, you've got, you got your reception up there if you can see. So straight ahead you've got green cabinets down there. And then you, you go around here, and you've got a wellbeing centre. You got your hot food. So these place there where you can sit down and eat barbecue. And behind that is where your thermal baths are. See what? Another two rows back there with cabins and some caravan sites. And then we'll head back up that way in a minute. So you've got some drive through caravan sites here in the middle on pebbles. Some more cabins down there. So that cabin over there has got number 77 on. So all through there, you got um, laundry and amenities there. So if you so behind these cabins. There's more caravan sites. I'm just trying to be careful that I don't intrude on anyone. So I don't want to be that person that does that. And that entrance there takes you to all the sites at the back, the back of these ones. So you got all cabins down there, and you got caravan sites down the middle, a couple of cabins here and there. So I've noticed the numbers on the cabins are quite big. So that's good. Because sometimes, believe it or not, they can be tricky to find. Some have some of the numbers in the worst spots. Okay. So you got all, all these cabins here. Up here, you got sites 1 to 42. So, this is where it gets a bit odd. That sun's probably a bit bright. So, you got some up here on um, Tar. Uh, so, this is the entry. Oh, there's more than one entry, but. This is where all the thermal sites are. We've had it, we've been in already. Oh my god, it's so good because it's not quite as hot as um as the one at Lightning Ridge where that was 40 to 50 degrees. These ones are between 32, 34 to 39. It's going to be hard to get any photos in there because that's not going to be the right thing to do.
in the, um, so you've got cabins here and they build three more cabins down there hopefully you can see the, the sun's not shining too bad uh, and down here you've got some more sites I think some of those down the back there are unpowered if I'm, I'm not 100% sure but it looks like it there is a caravan and car wash area Amenities here. This is a little area here, TV. Oh, got some doctor's arm seats. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Your oven, your, your, all your basic kitchen stuff. It's got air conditioning in here, so I suppose on a nice hot day you can always come in here and chill out. Oops, no, you lost it, guys. So you'll see that, so don't edit nothing. So there's ladies and men's toilets here. There's your thermal pool sign. These are all sites here. And you got grass sites. So they're, they're all numbered on the ground or on the electrical box. here so they're not the widest spots but it, it, they are long like I've got the tent there I've got the tray there I've got the car on there you can see where the, the black marks are and the neighbors on both sides are really nice and then you can come down here to the back part So on the left hand side coming down here it's all caravan sites and your camper trailers. You've got a laundry amenities block, you've got more cabins down this end. You've got a couple of barbecues here. There's heaps of caravans down here too. These sites. Oh, I thought maybe they look a bit wider, maybe they're not. Now, we had to use this bin for the rubbish. That was the only one we could find in the whole place. So obviously we've missed a bin somewhere. Because I you'd find that hard to believe that's the only bin. So you've got caverns there. And then you got all of them sites there, and then obviously your cabins there. So yeah, there's got to be another bin elsewhere. That can't be the only bin in the place, but there's no bins on any sites anywhere. So, so we're paying sixty-eight dollars for two nights here on a grass-powered site. Which is not, when you think of it, that's a pretty good price. Of course, that includes the use of the baths, which they've got three or four baths in there. Plus, they've got the other baths that you can use down the road they own, which is like oh, a two minute drive from here, which we're going to go tomorrow and check them out. So, you can't really, I think for the price, it's pretty good. Yes, it's a little bit cramped for our style and that, but 
As long as you get good neighbours, it doesn't work out too bad, but yeah. These are probably some of the um, tighter sites we've seen. But that's about it, guys. Cheers.